What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic Online. Uh, this pack is not super exciting, um, but I think Rafelis is probably the strongest pick in it. I do like Venser. I like Woodfall Primus. I don't know if I like Damnation. There's just not... There's actually not that many decks that go wide. Usually you're like... There's one or two creatures that are... Uh... Yeah, that was... That was... Uh... That was Alexa making uh, making her presence known. I didn't want to say it too loud because then she'll hear. All right, I think we're just taking Rafelos. Uh, I think it's the strongest card in this pack. I saw. I definitely don't want to take Seething Song as my pack. My pick one, but maybe I should. I don't know. If you guys want me to take Seething Song, I'll take Seething Song, and we'll just do a fun forced storm draft, and we'll see how good it goes. How's that sound? You got nine seconds to confirm, so hopefully you guys on YouTube don't mind the uh, forced storm draft passing the Rafellos in bag one. Mm, Time Twister seems good if we're... Uh, I mean, we could have had Sylvan Library, but Time Twister seems good for Storm, right? I mean, it's power. It's not great. It's literally almost unplayable power. But um, I think it's still the pick, right? I mean, it's, it's not still the pick, but I mean, it's the pick because it's good in Storm, right? All right. Well, here. So how's Time Spiral? Is Time Spiral good in Storm, guys? Do we just Time Twist or Time Spiral? Because <laughs> that seems pretty good. Oh, boy. It definitely feels meant to be at this point. I will take Time Spiral. I think I just take Dak Faden here. Storm or not, that guy seems great. And uh, he's not terrible in Storm because you just get to filter your hand. So, uh, yeah, we're just taking Dak Faden. The weatherman's calling. I'm going to take Dak Faden. I don't think that pick was particularly close. Gataxian Probe is a heck of a Storm card. Is it better than Faithless Looting? I don't know. I'm not a Storm Connoisseur. It's either... I think it's, I think it's one of these two. Is it loot? I don't know. Could be probe. Could be loot. I don't know. I'm not a storm connoisseur. I'm not a weatherman here. I got three for loots. Trinket for Lotus seems good. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't take Trinket Mage and we don't have a Lotus yet, but we can get we can get it. Yeah, we'll take loot. All right, I'm on board with that. Brainstorm seems pretty good. It's a cheap spell. Incinerate, meh. Manic Vandal, meh. Yeah, just gonna take Brainstorm here. Oh, we want black too, don't we? So, yeah, we'll have to keep our eyes open for things that help us with black. Alternatively, there was a uh, Watery Grave in one of these packs. I think it was the same pack with, with DAC or Faithless Looting. Maybe we'll keep fingers crossed that that guy comes back. Yeah, you gotta get those dank rituals. But for now, we're just waiting for this pick. None of these cards are super exciting. Char is interesting. Grim Tutor is okay, but it's double black. And it's just worse than Demonic Tutor for several reasons. A Johnny Vengeant is not great because we're not going to be playing white. I think it's just Sweltering Suns. 
Uh, Tutor seems so loose, though. I guess it could be. I guess Tutor's probably the better card for our deck, uh, regardless of whether... Well, we're probably not going to play it because it's double black, right? But, I mean, if we get enough fixing, maybe. We could also just play Lotus Grim Tutor. There you go. We could steal their Lotus and play Grim Tutor. Oh, Lion's Eye Diamond. And a Magus of the Will. That's cute. Just a poor man's, poor man's Yogmoth's Will. I'm going to take the Lion's Eye Diamond. Hope that, uh, hope that everything works out. I mean, the problem is, if we don't get cards like Yogmoth's Will or, um, like High Tide, like some kind of engine cards, um, the deck doesn't isn't really that great. Eh, Imperial Seal is fine. I like that we got Grim Tutor and Imperial Seal instead of uh, Demonic Tutor and Vampiric Tutor, and we got. Uh, we had option to take uh, Magus of the Will instead of Yogmoth's Will, so we're getting like we're getting the bargain basement versions of all of the all the good cards that you want. I'm gonna take Imperial Recruiter in case we end up getting like Pestermite Splinter Twins. Why is the Sylvan Library still here, man? People have no respect, dude. That's really sad. We have Imperial Recruit with zero targets right now. It's pretty sad. Hmm, nothing great here. We'll just take Lodestone Golem. <laughs> It's not Zergo Bell Striker, so whatever. That pick was mediocre. Man, these picks are going so slow, dude. I'll just take Searing Spear. That's fine. Yeah, I like the Kiki Jiki Splinter Twin Pestermite Hedge. Uh, the end of this pack didn't really give us much. I loved going uh, Seething Song at a Time Twister and a Time Spiral, but didn't really see. And Lion's Eye Diamond's a good pickup, so it's Faithless Looting, but we didn't really see that much, like, that many dedicated Storm cards, which is kind of sad. Uh, resto in case we do go Kiki Jiki Pestermite Splinter Twin things. Um, Mind's Desire. That is a storm card. Unfortunately, I really like Badlands, and I bet this I bet this comes back, and I also don't even care about that much. I think we just want the Volcanic Island here, to be quite honest. I bet Mind's Desire comes back. I think it's one of the weak... I Honestly, weird, weird as it sounds, I think it's one of the weaker uh, Storm cards. Because <laughs> it doesn't win you the game, and it doesn't definitely doesn't guarantee you uh, a good card. I'm going to take the Volcanic Island. Worn Power Stone. Mana Vault. That's pretty good. I think it's just Mana Vault here. For obvious reasons. I could see taking Worn Power Stone, but I think Mana Vault's just stronger. Frantic Search. Yes, please. We can also take Lava Claw Reaches. I think Frantic Search is a little more relevant, though. It's, uh... Like, Frantic Search is good because you can go Frantic Search into, like, Time Twister. Yeah, we're just taking Frantic Search there. Where are our storm cards? I wonder. I almost like I almost like taking bonfire here, especially with brainstorm. I 
I don't like gifts, but gifts might be the pick here. I don't love gifts because I'm never a fan of gifts piles. You never get what you want. I'll just take it because I think it's the most on it's the most on brand card, I if you if you will. But I don't think it's great. I'm not I'm just not a big fan of gifts. Um usually it's impossible to get piles that guarantee you get what you want. And it's very easy for your opponent to be like, okay, I can just put these two in the graveyard and you have no way to do what you want to do. That's my experience with gifts. <clears throat> We're getting there. We'll be we'll be all right. We got a whole pack after this. Oh, I like I like a fumarole. That's pretty good. I'll take a wandering fumarole. Dark petition's cool, but not in really not in, not in the business for a double black card here. Man, we went deep on this on this storm stipulation. <laughs> I was thinking price. Uh, definitely price was an option. I don't think we need Dark Petition when we have Grim Tutor, which is just a better Dark Petition, and we also have Imperial Seal, uh, which we might not even play based on our black count. I definitely don't want a double black spell. Five mana double black tutor is not where I want to be, but... Ooh, Rakdos Signet is pretty okay, though. So is Pentad Prism. I'm pretty sure it's just Rakdos Signet here. It helps fix our black, uh, and it sticks around forever, unlike Pentad Prism. It does Ritual, but you're paying five mana for it. So you're only getting back three, whereas, like, I'd rather just play a two mana Ritual and not have to worry about it. Um, I think Electrolyze is a fine pickup here. Shrine of Burning Rage, also pretty solid. Monastery Mentor, also not terrible if we want to go white. I'm just going to go Electrolyze because I think it's actually 100% playable in our deck and not like 30% playable like Mentor. I think Shrine is also very good. Um, there's many decks that aren't even Shrine focused that can end up getting like 7 or 8 counters on Shrine. So that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. None of these cards are great. That's sad. <laughs> Skull Clamp should not still be in here, I don't think. Um, Maze of Ith is pretty okay. Keeps us alive, but it doesn't tap for mana. Like, I like Maze. I like Ophiomancer. I like Skull Clamp. I like Wasteland. I like Fire Blast, but I don't like all of them that much. We have zero creatures. Actual zero creatures right now. I'm just going to take Maze of Ith. Um... Mind's Desire did not come back. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm just going to take Nicol Bolas and maybe we just hard cast it. Academy Ruins and a Goblin Welder. Hmm. Go Welder. Oh, uh, Lava Claw Reaches. That's a great pickup. Double Man Land. All right, cool. And maybe there's a situation where we welder Mana Vault into, like, something big. <laughs> Steve Meridian, what's going on? It seems rumors of your death have been greatly exaggerated. Man. My favorite part about my stream is definitely the memes. Steve Meridian and Michael. So here's a funny story. Um, I was watching an LSV and Gabby draft uh, on YouTube. The other day, it just popped up, and I was like, yeah, this is cool. I'll watch this. Um, I like Rakdos' return a lot. And 
Michael Barbobliboo, this the, the 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 Twitch account Michael Barbobliboo showed up in chat and asked a question, and Gabby was like, "Oh, hey, Michael, let me." And then she answered the question, and I was like, "Who asked that?" And I looked in the chat, and it said Michael Barbobliboo, and I was like, "Oh my god, the literal Michael Barbobliboo account that was made as a meme for our stream is literally asking questions in the Gabby stream on that account." And, like, getting them answered. And it was, like, the most surreal, comical moment I've ever had. I was like, that's amazing. That's utterly hilarious. I couldn't even handle it. I was like, this is just your regular Twitch account now. Hmm. You're just using the Michael Barbobliebo account. So for those who don't know, uh, Mike usually streams with me. Uh, he's my buddy. He lives in the he lives in five minutes away, and um, his name is Michael Bartholomew, and I call him Michael Barbobly Boo as a joke because it's just funny. This this pack has Ashiok and Consecrated Sphinx, two of my favorite cards ever. Uh, there's also High Tide. It's also very good. What if we just go Time Spiral into Consecrated Sphinx? I think it's Consecrated Sphinx. Uh, I'd love to take Ashiok, but I think Consecrated Sphinx is uh, insane. Especially if we can ramp into it on, like, turn three. And I think High Tide will come back. So, anyway, um, I call him Michael Barbably as a joke. And someone made a Twitch account called Michael Barbably Boo. And it was funny. It was just a joke at the time, but it's funny to see them using it. And it's also a Karn. Like, this pack is amazing. Like, these are such strong cards right here. I don't think it's high tide. I really don't. We don't have any... We have zero storm cards to take advantage of high tide with. Like, you guys want the high tide? But, like, we have no way to take advantage of that. I'm going to take the Consecrated Sphinx. Here's a Palancron. Here's a Demonic Tutor and a Gilded Lotus. All of these are very good. Very good. Mike's probably just at home. I don't know. If he's not here, I don't know. I don't keep tabs on that dude. I think it's just Demonic Tutor here, which is better than our other two tutors in the sideboard. Yeah, we'll take D Toots. I like when we have eight mana, we can play Demonic Tutor and then search for Time Spiral and then Time Spiral and then untap six lands and then play Consecrated Sphinx. Steve Marini, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna clip that and show him what you said that. Nice. Did it. Despite not being able to storm yet. Oh, oh, hoo, hoo, we did it, boys. I mean, they're both in the same pack, which is sad. And there's also a Scalding Tarn and a... Oh, man. Are we a Yawgmoth's Will deck? Blah. I think we still can. We have three creatures. What are they? There you got the Consecrated Sphinx. We have... Oh, I think the other two are in the sideboard. We got Restoration Angel and Goblin Welder. No, wait, that's not correct. Because we have... No, it's Welder. Sphinx. Abbot of Carol Keep. Alright, that guy's not even a real card. Is it Yawgmoth's Will or is it Empty the Warrens? I don't think it's Empty the Warrens. I think it's I think it's Yawgmoth's Will. We're an empty deck? Okay, I'll take Empty the Warrens. I'll trust you guys. What if the... Oh, Pyretic Ritual, huh? Turnabout's not great when you don't have uh, High Tide. Then you're just like... I like this Pyretic Ritual, though. Especially with the Empty the Warrens now. This is a weird deck. I also like Goblin Dark Dwellers. Unfortunately, we are not a Metalworker deck. We are also we could be a Jace Bellerin deck. We could also be a Fiery Confluence deck. Fiery Confluence is very good. We could also be a. I wonder if we're a Young Pyromancer deck.
This this pack is great, actually. I, I, like, I like Confluence, Bellerin, and Young Pyromancer. I think it's Young Pyromancer with this deck. Cabal Ritual. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Or Black Cleave Cliffs. I think it's one of these two. What's Young Pry? Young P Young Pry? I don't know what this is called, to be quite honest with you. It feels like it's Cabal Ritual, but it might just be the, the fixing. I don't think Goblin Welder is making the cut, unfortunately. I think it's Ritual. Oh, nothing in this pack is great. Blowing Marsh, Copper Line Gorge, not good. Um, Mesmeric Fiend is fine, I guess. We'll just take the Mesmeric Fiend. Oh, I like a Baleful Strix. I like a Chandra. Is Ral Zarek good? Untap a land. This is our eighth pick, I think. So, yeah, this is our eighth pick. So the next the next picks we're gonna start seeing things like High Tide if they're still there. High Tide came back, boy. Well, now we got a deck. That was quick. I'm gonna take this Augur of Bolas. It might even be just playable. Come back one time, Yogmoss will. The High Tide came back. Maybe the Yogmoss will come back. Also, even if we're just like, oh, dang it. So dumb. Is it just Exquisite Firecraft? Just burn their face? Dreadbore is probably better. I think the Dreadbore. Uh, Turnabout's actually good now. Wow, that's great. Take Nevenril's Disc. No Yogmoss will, but we still have both Time Twister and Time Spiral and Turnabout, so. This deck looks pretty sweet because we have Nicol Bolas. We have three creatures in the deck Young Pyromancer, Consecrated Sphinx, and. Augur of Bolas? Maybe we cut that guy. This guy seems like it's always going to hit, though, right? Let's find out if this guy's always going to hit. Oh, he's Exquisite Firecraft. That doesn't even make any sense. You're clearly drunk. Yeah, Empty the Worms and Young Pyromancer are great. Um, this format doesn't have a ton of ways to... Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Second to last pick, Stoneforge Mystic. Sure. Okay. That's a reasonable thing. Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to subscribe to me on Twitch, which helps me out a ton. And also subscribe to me on YouTube. It's good to uh, youtube.com slash franklapore. And uh, you can catch any drafts that you miss. Stuff like that. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Like you do. Alright, I wish we had more fixing. But we only have like two black cards. And we do have a Rakdos Signet. Um, Nicol Bolas is double black. Maybe that's the cut. Did I say a dirty word? What did I say? What was a dirty word? Dirty word. Oh, let's let's figure out how many cards um Augur of Bolas hits. It's like it's looking like a lot. <laughs> we also have Searing Spear. I wonder if Searing Spear Searing Spear is probably better than uh Oh my god, this is a lot of cards. Yeah, this is this is an insane amount of cards. 15 cards? Alright, so like one in... By the time we're able to cast Augur of Bolas, we'll probably have 32, uh, 32 cards left in our deck. So it'll 
probably be like a little over one, a little, a little over 50%. So it should definitely be one in three. Um, double black for Nicol Bolas might be the problem. I could see us getting Imperial Seal in. I just don't know if we care enough about it. I really don't like having one black on turn one. Although we're probably not playing it on turn one. God, Nicol Bolas is a cool win condition, especially when we can like ramp it out with like a Cabal Ritual and a, se a Seething Song. So wait, whenever you cast a spell, okay, so we can't untap one of their things with Ral and then steal it. I feel like this is the deck. I also don't know if we're like... I don't know if we're a Lion's Eye Diamond deck, but we might be. Like, we just go Lion's Eye Diamond, and... The problem with Lion's Eye Diamond is that you want... Well, we're not cutting bullets for gifts. We actually need to cut a card. So we're probably just cutting bullets for sake of cutting cards. I also don't like gifts. Um... Lion's Eye Diamond's not great unless you have Yawgmoth's Will. Like you go Yawgmoth's Will, and then you crack Lion's Eye Diamond with the ability on this, with the with the spell on the stack, so that it doesn't get exiled. And then you can play all your stuff from your graveyard. What's the other? What are other tricks with Lion's Eye Diamond? Like, Bolus is awful. What? Why are you like this? <laughs> Who hurt you, Sarah? Who hurt you? <sighs> So, like I can't see a situation where we want to discard our hand for Lion's Eye Diamond because we're gonna be able, we're discarding things like Time Spiral or I mean I guess we could like I guess with Time Spiral on the stack if it's our last card we we crack Lion's Eye Diamond maybe I could see that yeah I guess that's fine it's also Storm for Empty the Warrens. But the problem is, like, we can't empty the Warrens and then cast it, or uh, and then crack it. Like we, or we can't crack it and then cast empty the Warrens off of it. It's a real awkward situation. Lion's Eye Diamond is such an awkward card. I, mean, I still think this is the deck. I think I think it's good enough to play. We also have Brain Maggot and Mesmeric Fiend. That is a lot of uh, a lot of card looking at looking at whatever that means. I think this deck looks good. So one, two, three, four black sources, seven, eight, nine blue sources, five, six, seven, eight. So nine blue sources, eight red sources, and four black sources is what this would be. Seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's actually nine, nine. And then two, three, four. I could see putting Dreadborn instead of Lion's Eye Diamond. And I agree with you. The only time it's good is when we are casting... Uh... <laughs> That's a lot of card looking at. That is what I said. You're right. Nothing is double red, which is super nice. Um... So I think we actually cut a red and make sure we have another black. I think that's the mana base, which is good. I will cut the Lion's Eye Diamond. Maybe I just add Nicol Bolas back. It's double black, but we also have Cabal Ritual. Yes. Monsanto, that's all I wanted to say. The, oh, yes. Burner, you guys are... We're on the same page here. All right, this is what we're going to do. I like this deck. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. That's a quick boy. That's a quick boy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm real excited. Oh, uh, Okay. This hand has got tons of playables. Can we force Manalus Dredge, please? Why are you like this? You might be the biggest troll I know. And I know a lot of trolls, Sarah. I will keep this hand. Kyle, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Always a pleasure, mate. That's my it's a British accent for you guys, in case you didn't know. Oh, Ral does untap a second black. This is where we go island and they're like, no, I'll decline to play a land. And I want to be like, whatever, dude. Here we go. 
no land for me. <laughs> it's basically like playing second in order to draw three lands, right? I mean, whatever. Oh, they didn't. Oh, I see. Hypnotic Spectre. Sure. That's a good... That's a nice golem. Let's see what we hit here. It's going to be like three cards that we want. Or we're just going to whiff. Those are the two options. Hope you guys are ready for it. Storm count one, and we have no storm cards in hand. I don't know what triggers this, this storm count to come up. It's very interesting to me. Why are you... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, like, as predicted... Doesn't matter anywhere. I could care less. Hi, hi, hi. Sigh. We have 15. We had 15 instant sorcerers in the deck. So, considering our hand, we have 12 uh, out of 31 cards. So, that's over 1 in 3. 36 would be 1 in 3. So, we have over a 1 in 3 shot. It was nice to get all those cards on the bottom. I agree. However, now we're going to draw Nicol Bolas, So it doesn't matter. He costs too much and does nothing. He wins games. You are insane. Nicol Bolas is extremely powerful. You steal their best creature. Or you destroy their best permanent. And his ultimate is, is literally game winning. I like that. I like that. I'm just going to pass here. And they're going to play Restoration Angel, and we're going to kill this. Nope, they didn't do it. Okay. Pretty sure we're still going to Searing Spear this Golem, because that's how we do. Don't Restoration Angel me, bro. No, oh, they didn't. Okay, we are in... We're doing it. We are living the dream. I don't know what the dream is yet. I'm going to wait till we draw either uh, Time Spiral or High Tide. And then I'm going to search for the other one. But Thazd Gullum is my precious. That was not your best sentence, Kyle. Not your best. For that mana, you could just Tooth and Nail. But if you don't have Tooth and Nail, you can't do that if you're playing not green. Uh, additionally, if your opponent Tooth and Nails for an Emrakul, you can just steal it. So, Lantern of Insight. That's a good question. I'm probably just going to post it to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm still with CFP. I'm just taking a little break because I want to do my own stuff. Uh, so, you guys may have noticed I've been streaming more and posting more things to my own YouTube channel. So, if you're interested, be sure to follow that. Um... I'm just trying to build my own brand a little bit. So. Which is such a funny thing to say. I'm in the game industry. I'm trying to build my own brand. Oh. Well. Intriguing. How do you get wrecked before you can steal it? Like, the Tooth and Nail's a sorcery. So, the em em Emrakul comes into play. And then I get a turn before you get to do anything, right? You don't get to do some. You don't get to do some nonsense with it. Oh, do we just demonic tutor for high tide, and then next turn we go? Oh, sweet! Thank you for the YouTube sub. Appreciate it. Oh God. Well, okay. So you're 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 mentioning you're you're talking about Emrakul with a Xenagos. Yeah. Okay. That's what I. Like, you, I like that you make it seem like this is the only situation this ever happens in. Like, there's no other, there's no alternative. So, do we demonic tutor for high tide, and then we can go high tide turnabout, time twister. I feel like we do. Let me keep electrolyze up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. The green cube decks are the best, and anyone who thinks otherwise is an absolute maniac. Um, Or do we just play Dak Faden here and steal their Mox Jet? Oh, I like that a lot. 
I just I just changed my I changed my my mind. Can I have this? Can I have they revealed swamp planes planes and then they play to planes. So we know they have these two and five other cards. Thank you for the mox jet. J -j 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 -jet. I got the more permanent solution. You got real excited. Sammy, I'm so sorry, buddy. Well, it's not infinite mana though. So like we go one we go one for high tide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um use four of it to untap all our lands. So we'd have two floating, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Three of it for twister, so we'd have eight left over. It's actually pretty good. That's a lot of mana. I mean, we have a better shot of finding it now. We have a DAC. That's cool, right? Unfortunately, like, if they play Baneslayer Angel or something, it's real bad for us. Okay, they revealed the planes and played a swamp. So they have, we know they have two planes in hand. Here comes Baneslayer Angel. Shriek Maw. Oh, that's unfortunate. I knew I should have taken care of this Blade Splicer when I had the chance. Goodbye, Dak Faden. Hunter is the best player on the channel, no joke. We're just going to draw high tide, it's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. Oh, my boy. That's a dude. It's the prettiest dude I have ever done seen. Flying through the air, don't have a doom blade or an ultimate price or a go for the throat for my consecrated sphinx. It's your boy, consecrated sphinx. Hunter probably would have grabbed high tide. You, you're not wrong. Choose them crads. Just a swamp. Just, 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 oh. Once we go to the draw step, I'm like, yes. Yes. Oh my god, High Tide's so good right now, though. Oh my god, can you imagine we time twister? And then they draw seven. And then we get to we get to choose to draw 14 more. How do you lose at that point? You don't. One, two, three, one, two. We also have enough for time swap. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We can play Mana Vault. And then play Twister and Turnabout in the same turn. Uh, and if we draw, but the problem is we'd have to either, oh, dang it. Why are you like this? This is so sad. What did you play? You played planes. Okay. So we know you've had two lands in your hand this entire time. Yeah, I'll go to 13. I can also kill this guy with Electrolyze, which is pretty cool. We are not there yet. Um, let's just go one, two, three. I'm going to kill this dude. Because that's that's good that's good business. I'm gonna play volcanic. I'm gonna play mana vault. They have seven cards in hand. Do we just time twister here. So if we go mana, we can go mana vault twister. We don't untap our land though. Is the problem. <laughs> Like, I feel like we have to wait for for turnabout in that situation. Or, or wait for high tide, rather. High tide is very good for us. If we can draw high tide. Oof. Let's let's talk about it. They don't have any pressure right now, though. We have a 1-1, one, one, so I'm okay with it. We I played Vault because I want to be able to... Uh, I guess we could have waited. That's You're right. I played Vault because I want to be able to maximize the mana I have on the turn I play Time Twister or Time Spiral. So I want to have one... It will have one extra mana that turn. But I can see the benefit of keeping it because then you get to have one extra Storm Count. So... And yes, Force of Will is in this cube. So we have six cards in the graveyard. Time Twister would not... So we're going to want to have to Cabal Ritual before we Time Twister for obvious reasons. One, two, three, four. So we net four mana if we turn about. Um, I believe it's creatures. Yeah, I don't have any creatures. You're good. 
You are good. Did you get a planes? Uh, real planes, played planes. Okay, so again, seven cards in hand. I will choose not to pay four. Signet. So what we can do is go tap everything, turn about, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, net 3, so 15, use 4 of it, go to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think we time twister here. I think this is the time. Twister. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turnabout, we'll go red. Target myself. Untap lands. Land. Untap. Ritual. We'll use a blue because we have a ton. And we'll just use the rest of our mana here to time twister. Uh, one, two. We'll get rid of Rakdos Signet. I'd rather just keep the mana. It's totally fine. All right, so we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen 14, 15, 16 mana right now. Time spiral seems insanely good. Play old. Do we play a land for the turn? Probably. I would imagine so. So one thing we can do is go uh, Rakdos Signet with one, two. Uh, Ral Zarek. Uh, pay colorless. Untap Mana Vault. Seems good. Shoot this. Um, so one, two. This is a lot of decisions, just so you guys know. <laughs> uh, tap you and untap you. So blue, red, one and one. Okay, pay a black. We have plenty of black left over, so that's good. Seething song. Let me play the seething song of my people. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Searing Spear, you. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have eleven mana. Might as well play this. It gets shuffled back in. One of their ones. Yep, okay, cool. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Add that mana. Get rid of a red. What do we do here? I don't know what we do here. I guess we time spiral. I mean, we, we obviously time spiral. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four. One tap, six lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. This was not ideal, so I guess we just play Consecrated Sphinx.
Yeah, I didn't want to play Dakface first because I didn't know what we were going to get, but that was uh, not ideal. No, we played a land this turn. Um, yeah, that was unexciting for an 11 storm count, unfortunately. We drew an extra 14 cards, 15 cards, something like that, and we did not get to hit um, Empty the Warrens. Should have played deck. I, I think that was a mistake, but I did want to keep extra mana up because I didn't know what we were going to draw. So I wanted to maximize our ability to have a stronger draw from the Time Spiral, uh, which we did not have, unfortunately. And also Time Spiral is exiled now, so Time Twister we can get back, but... Oh, look, a High Tide. This is actually good. We can go Young Pyromancer, or High Tide, Turnabout, Seething Song, and then, you know, something else, I guess. I don't know. I'm getting real tired of this this guy killing my Shriek Maw, or my, my Consecrated Sphinx. Whatever. Yeah, that would have been a great empty. That would have been Storm Count about 22. Probably more because we would have played these. So, you played a Swamp. I don't know if you have these anymore. Archangel of Thune, sure. I'm probably going to untap this this turn. We have plenty of mana. Actually, we can just untap it with Dak. So, no. Augur of Bolas. Okay. Okay. This could be good. What do we hit? Faithless Looting. All right. That's a thing. Well, we have plenty of things we want to get rid of here. Uh, Dak Faden is good. I guess we could have played Pyromancer first. Tap you, untap you. Yeah, we missed the, we missed one trigger with Pyromancer, but that's because I wasn't sure what we were doing. That's my excuse for everything. I didn't know what we were doing. Um, also, this deck is not easy to play, so. Play you. Pitchlands, yes. Correct. No easy to that guy. Searing Spear. Oof, that would have been good with a DAC act. DAC, with a Dactivation, if you will. So we can go DAC or well, plus DAC, so then he's out of range of your shenanigans. And we still have two more lands to pitch, so. We also have like 13 cards. Here's Time Spiral, you ready? Or Time Twister, rather. Oh, Rakdos Return. That's actually very good. Um. Yeah, I think next turn we can just go ham. Uh, we're just gonna get rid of Island. We, we can't. I don't think we care about law. Actually, I don't think we care about Lava Claw Reaches. We're rid of Lava Claw Reaches and Searing Spear. Play it. Play you, and pass. Okay. Yeah, and next turn we can go ham because we can Demonic Tutor for Time Twister. And we have High Tide Turnabout, which is just actually insane. And we should draw significantly less lands here, so. Simply because more of them are in play. We also have 14 minutes. Well, they, we actually have 15 minutes. They have 16 minutes, so we're not actually terribly behind. It's also, we have the potential to Rakdos' return as well. Uh, not after, yeah, but it's awkward because we can't do it after a, we can't do it after the time twister. Unless we draw it again, which would be nice. I guess we could have high tied it and then turn about. Um, that would have been a lot of, but because we don't actually have anything to go into. I guess, oh, we could have demonic tutored four. Um, sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, we could actually just fireball them out next turn. 
Going to the face. All right, so you gain 23. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to rack his return. Turn about high tide. That's actually disgusting. That is fine. I'll take one more. And they hard cast Gristlebrand, so that's cool. Uh, tap you, untap you. High tide. Bum, bum, bum. I like that they post combat Gristlebrand, so they actually didn't get the counter on Gristlebrand. That's sad. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn about. Target myself. Uh, one, two. Doesn't really matter. Choose land. Untap them. Rack does a return your face. X is currently 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I don't think you're gonna have a way to deal with this. Could have Seething Song first. Still had all these. Negative three. Oh, they didn't discard their hand. That's sad. All right. Well, okay then. I actually don't hate Maze of Ith here. Man, Nicol Bolas is good. Would have been good times there. And yeah, I guess I guess Rakdos's return is kind of a storm wind con when we have turnabout and uh, high tide. You know, fair things happening here in the Magic the Gathering world. Um, Archangel Char is actually reasonable against Archangel of Thune and Linvala, which might be better than Seething Song. Which might be over my better Seething Song Spearing Searing Spear. Or our deck could just be very good as it is. What's up, H. Rollins? Not to be confused with Henry Rollins. I like Maze here. I like Char here. But I don't know which one it is. Except instead of lightning, it's a big old demon. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the same thing. And we didn't get to, we didn't even get to see our empty the Warrens. That's real sad. I think I like our deck the way it is. I don't feel like we're super like I don't think we need anything really. I'm okay with it. Um This is an interesting hand. I'm gonna keep this. Ooh, they went to six. Brain lodestone up the difficult difficulty. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. That's good. I like to challenge myself. <coughs> If you know what I mean. Oh, Leyline. That's cool. That shouldn't be problematic at all. I mean, we have Empty as our primary win condition, so I guess that's fine. Wow, Leyline land tax. What are the odds you don't play a second land to fill up your hand? Is it 1,000%? No, it's not 1,000%. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what we do here. We could Demonic Tutor. But what do we get? We have Frantic Search Seething Song. We could Demonic Tutor for Empty the Warrens, actually, and just play it next turn for, like, six... I think we're doing that. Let's go empty. 
Deal with that, my friend. My land playing friend. I'm just kidding. You're not my friend. I'm not your friend, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. I'm not your buddy, sports. So we can actually go. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, they played a land, too. They're just completely keeping themselves off of the... I feel like we Young Pyromancer first. Like, we're not in any, we're not under any pressure here. So next turn we can go uh, Frantic Search, Untap, Seething Song. This is very interesting that they're not... Missing land drops to fill our hand. I mean, we can't actually add turnabout yet because uh, we don't have double blue. We could get one, though. We could find a blue. Let's see what we can do. Volcanic Island. Be one of my two. It's all you can do. Alright. Here we go. Island one time. It's not what we wanted. So what are we going to do? We're going to tap three. Play a land. We can Seething Song. Brainstorm. Put two back. Um, let's pitch, let's pitch Fumeral and Augur. Just make a million dudes. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Wait, is it though? No, I guess it's not anymore. <laughs> but it's still fine. Um, maybe we wait now. Nikki B and Time Twister on top. We can play a land. What's our storm count? Two? So it'd be three, four? Eight goblins? Nine? So we'd have a bunch of... We'd, is this good? Is this good? Is this good enough? Is my question. I guess we're going to attack first and see if they do anything. Because if they like Resto, it's two more goblins for us. And we can't even Searing Spear their face, unfortunately. They could have Deluge, sure. I mean, it's, it's possible. But they don't seem like a Deluge deck. But they also haven't played anything yet, so... Who knows? F6... If you continue to the next phase, you'll lose that mana. We also have Time Spark. We have Time Twister on the top of our library. So worst case scenario, we just Time Twister and refill our lives. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. <laughs> you got it, buddy. And they just keep playing lands. I don't understand. Like, we have no pressure right now. There's no... We have no clock. Sure. Now we're now that's a clock. That's a time spiral clock. They have two cards in hand, but we have no way to like Oh cool, we drew this, we drew this. Um Oh, God. Turnabout first would have been good. How many lands did we have? We had five. We would have netted one mana. Yeah, that would have been good. I don't think it would have done anything, but I think it would have been fine. Uh, we can't bolt him because they have Leyline of Sanctity. So here's the thing. If we can hit a second black source...
one, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Nicol Bolas next turn and destroy their... Uh, well, we can destroy their their ley line or their land tax, or we can steal their Archangel of Thune, which is pretty good value. So we're basically looking for a second black source. And I think even if it's Rakdos, we go one, two, Rakdos, Signet. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we'd be one shy. No, we'd have a land, so that would work. Creatures without flying can't attack. Okay. That's good. That's a good card. So we're going to brainstorm lock ourselves, which is weird, but I think it's fine because we don't we don't care if we're getting rid of these cards. We just want to uh, find the land for the next turn. And like I said, even Rakdos Signet would be good. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, Frantic Search might do it. Gives us the double black we need. But we're just going to draw the same two cards, right? No, we're going to draw one new card. So we'll put Searing Spear and Time Spiral on the top. Draw Time Spiral. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. Oh, yeah, I think that does it. One, two, three. So we'll have five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we just untap Lava Claw Reaches, right? Yeah, discard these two. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can I steal your guy? Boy, do I hope so. And we also have uh, the old mana leak, mana tithe back up, so we're good. I just want to take your angel, make it my angel too. What up, the power of prime? Why do you... Also, we have time spiral in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw uh, high tide, it would be so amazing. High tide. High tide with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We time spiral for six. So we have three floating. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'd get twelve mana. That's pretty good. Remember the time Sarah was like, Nicobolus doesn't do anything. Did they make me shave my beard for my grade school class photos? They tried. And then I sued the school. And uh, that was how I made my first million. And then I burned that school to the ground. Get wrecked, school. Oh, you just banished your priest, your own guy. That's sad. Why would you do that? Well, I mean, I know why you'd do it, I guess, but... I mean, Nikki B just goes, This guy can't even attack, so we could just kill Leyline and just not even worry about their non-flying creatures. Like, none of their creatures do anything. This is great. Still hate Bolas. What? I don't understand. Look how good. he just stole their dude. And then they had to use their own dude to get their other dude back. All right. That doesn't. None of these things do anything against us, which is just. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Destroy your ley line. Nicol Bolas now at six. We could also steal this, right? This is an enchantment artifact. That's pretty good. I don't think that does anything. I also don't want to play Dak here in plus. It's is it up to? No, it's not. Dak is just like a good dude that's like, hey, hey. So, I think I just want to Rakdos's return them. To be quite honest. I mean, this seems good. <laughs> Get rid of Leyline, Rakdos returning for five, and then Time Spiral can just shuffle it back in. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they don't get lands next turn, which is great, so they can't just, like, fill their hand with a bunch of nonsense. They get to keep one card. So. I don't understand. Well, I, just, I guess I just don't understand why you don't like Nicol Bolas. Like, his power is not... His power is very... Oh, they had... What do they have? Three lands and Fatal Push and a Gristle Brand. Why'd you keep in Fatal Push? I guess for my one young Pyromancer? It's weird that you're a fan of my my content and you don't like Nicol Bolas because most of the time people like my content because I play these crazy cards like Nicol Bolas. So for you to not like him for a more competitive card like New Chandra, I mean, I don't know. Okay, sure. But can I just steal that again? You just murderous cut your Archangel. But can I just steal your Archangel again? It doesn't have haste. If you did it EOT, then you'd be in great shape because EOT, you can kill this. Then you'd have a chance to swing. But I could still kill your things. High tide. That's a high tide, essentially. To be fair. Alright, I'm going to take you again. Come on back to the dark side. I guess we could just discard whatever we... Uh, let's get high tide. Do we do it this turn? No, I don't want to give them cards. In fact, I probably should have even high tide. I'm a dummy. It's not personal. No, I didn't think it was personal. I'm just... I'm just... Whatever. We're going to play Dak. I choose me. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about any of these cards. They're all going to get shuffled back in with Time Spiral, so whatever. Yeah, once Nikki B is online, like it's such a hard card to deal with. Plus, they only have two six to sevens. They have two and a half minutes more than us, which is not a tremendous amount. All right, now you're going to kill your own dude. Okay. And that guy can't attack. I'm going to have six here. I'm going to have no responses to your things. Oh, my God. Yeah, now we're just doing this. I give you a million cards, but I don't care. Uh, one, two mana. One, two. Land. Untap. Time spiral. One, two, three, four. Untap six lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, play Young Pyromancer. Draw two. Please be something not terrible. <laughs> Win the game. Play a land. Oh, not doing that. All right. Oh my god. Rakdos' return. Unbelievable in Storm, apparently. This is going to be a long night, I think. I don't know if this is enough. I don't think it is. That's 13, 40, 15, 16. It actually is enough. We're going to do 16 in case they have Mana Tithe. Exaxes with Mana Tithe back up. We could have also High Tide it again. Oh, God. Are you going to gain some life here? Oh, God. Yes, we played around the Mana Tithe. Oh, my God. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have something else? Do you have a double Mana Tithe? Here's Downfall. Okay. Does that save you? I don't think so. I don't think that's how uh, magic... Why would you let me activate that, though? Why wouldn't you just, wouldn't you just hear us Downfall that immediately? All right. Doesn't matter. 
Sometimes you just win. Yeah, 16-point Rakdos's returns. Definitely uh, standard memories right there. And if you guys have not done so, please feel free to follow or subscribe. Both of those things help me out a ton. If you guys are watching on YouTube, you can hit those like and subscribe buttons. Those help me out as well. And I gotta love you forever. Ooh, this is an interesting hand. If we can get one red, I think this hand is great. Is it keepable without the one red? What up, Hoss Mania? Glad you can finally catch a live stream. I don't think I'm, I think I'm gonna ship this hand. Ah, uh, this hand is good. Japoshi, have a good night, buddy. I would definitely make sure you catch this because I feel like the, the games are going to be good. But they could be terrible. That could have just been luck. So, what up, Chalabi? Uh, you very well might have burned me with Crypt Gas and, uh, and Rakdos Return at shortstop. So, that is definitely a possibility. So next time we get to uh, get to Dak Faden, I don't think we're going to do anything here. I don't think I care about Faithless Looting. We have a good hand. Well, that's because our storm is using things. Oh, play an artifact. Oh my god, you played an artifact. Phenomenal. Give me that copter. Do, 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 do. Uh, I will definitely love you long time. That's uh that's an easy request. I can do that. Oh, get that marsh flats back. I can electrolyze your face though. That's pretty fun. Huh. Looting looting ritual. Hmm. Well, I want to play a land here. I guess we can get rid of Turnabout. Because we're not playing Turnabout this turn. And we can get rid of Relzarek. Six goblins is good, especially because like we're gonna probably try to hope to uh I guess we should have done this first. We could have played Mana Vault first, but I don't think I care. I do care. <laughs> I'm just trying not to. And I don't want a smuggler's copter there because I don't wanna I guess we could have not looted. We could just block two though, which is good. Blocking is probably better. There's a lot of things. The problem is there's a lot of things going on. And I'm also trying to be uh, uh, conscious of my time because last time we went to five minutes and I don't want that to consistently happen. Oh, God. Oh, that's fine. I don't care about that. We have a we have a smuggler's copter. Interesting. We just kill it with smuggler's copter. Huh. Let's see what we get. Oh, a high tide. Well, that's interesting. It's not that interesting, though. That can go to the graveyard. Right? Hmm. Two, three...
I mean, we don't need the black yet, but I do like having it. Uh, attack Garrick, attack your face, attack your face, attack your face, attack your face. And now if they block with a beast, yeah, we'll, we'll loot. Uh, trash can. If they block with a beast, we're just going to double electrolyze it so we can draw the card. Um... Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. That'll do. All right. Am I Frank Storm the Bearded Planeswalker? Is that my name? Because I'm okay with that. They have six cards. Next turn we can actually Demonic Tutor for Time Twister, which puts us real far ahead, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Like, that. Like Tutor for a Draw 7 is exactly... That's what I'm thinking. Time Like, High Tide's not even that great here because we only have one island. But our mana's pretty good here, so. They could also just not play anything. That's okay. Hey, that's okay if you don't want to play anything. Don't even worry about it. We're all friends here. Animate dead on Eternal Witness, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, they could, did they just get Garrick back here and then they would just shuffle it back in their deck? That's cool. <laughs> That's great. I'm a fan. Dom the Kid, what's going on? I'm having an alright evening. How about yourself? I guess we loot here just to get rid of these... Because they're going in the deck anyway, and if we just draw... Oh, yeah, okay, cool. We'll just get rid of these two. Play you. I guess we should have not played the land yet. Dang it, there's so many things going on. I mean, actually, if we naturally draw... It doesn't matter, because it's all going to get shuffled back in. Yeah, easily easy easy choice. Um Okay, just keep keep on keeping on. What why didn't I play the swamp? Because I want more blands because we have high tide in our deck. We don't have any double black spells, we have high tide. Um yeah, twister here. Let's twist her again, like we did last... Wow, this hand is insane. Wow, next turn we get to go... Uh, land, brain, Young Pyromancer, Brainstorm, Ritual, Empty the Warrens. One, two, that'd be... That's a four-count storm, let alone... And that's even, not even including Dak Faden's activation. Fighting off a cold sounds bad. Designing a combo cube sounds good. So it sounds like sounds like a break even. Bolus isn't okay. So we have a we have an eight mana double black spell. I'm more concerned with the high tide. Let's time twist again, like we did last summer. All right, Elder seems good. Crack Elder. A crack elder is what you encounter in the lower income neighborhoods, unfortunately. Oh, Fauna Shaman. Okay. Oh, we should have killed that with this top deck Searing Spear. Kapa oh, dang it. One time. Oh my god, Demonic Tutor again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get high tide. 
right? It's got to be high tide, right? Or turnabout. Which one's better here? I don't know. Or time spiral? No, it's not time spiral. That doesn't net us any mana at the moment. Let's get high tide. All right, so. Do you like that we played Demonic Tutor and High Hive before we played uh, Pyromancer? I do. <laughs> uh, I'll get rid of this island for that guy, sure. Um, so the problem is now we have to actually play it. Uh, we have to actually play Ritual first, unfortunately. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we can go Pyromancer. And we can go Brainstorm. Make a dude. Oh, Seething Song. How nice. And we can put the black on top. Or we can just play Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, boy. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I think we got to take advantage of our storm count here, which is seven. Yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have a swamp on top, so we can just play Nicol Bolas next turn. And if they try to get anything, like, crazy with Fauna Shaman, we can actually just steal whatever they get. And we have Lethal on board, so. I hate I hate wasting this three. I'm pretty sure that, like, I'm not, I know, I know the turns I've taken so far have not been the most efficient turns, but, uh, you know, Magic's a hard game. What are you going to do? Oh, God. If they Shaman for Massacre, one, two... Oh god, they're just going to Vampiric Tutor for Massacre and kill us, aren't they? I'd cry if Massacre was in their main deck. Oh god. Okay, you don't take this long if it's Massacre, right? Like, you just don't. You just get it and deal me... 10, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21... Uh, 21, 40, 42 damage. I feel like they, what if it's in their hand? They just have it in hand. They wouldn't take this long on Vampiric Tutor or Massacre Room. You just untap Windmill Slam Massacre Room and kill me, right? There's no possible way you have it because you don't take this long. You don't take two minutes to Vampiric Tutor. No, Vampiric Tutor doesn't reveal. If a card if a card just lets you search for anything without a specific type, you don't have to reveal because there's no proof. You don't have to prove what you what what kind of card you searched for. Whereas like if it says get a land, you have to reveal because then you have to prove that it was a land. So that's the distinction there. Um there's no no way it's mask room. Utterly no way that you took two minutes to find a mask room. Utterly no way. Static Suicide, 27 months. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Okay, Grave Titan. They discarded Grave Titan. I don't understand. Oh, they could have gotten Living Death. Living Death would be pretty insane, but then we just steal their Grave Titan. So, not acidic slime. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, living end would be great. 
living death rather it's 100 percent living death yep Yeah, they always have it. That was a good turn. So. Yeah, I mean, we still have a game. We steal this. Um, Nicol Bolas would go to one. No, yeah, well, after after the zombie attack, it would go to one. Um, We're just going to actually activate, because next turn we can activate Dak, which is pretty insane. Once again, Nicobolus stealing Grave Titans. We know they have an acidic slime and forest and a swamp in hand. We know three of their six cards, which is pretty comforting. Dak and Bolas do both steal things. Who is the greatest thief in the multiverse? I dare you to test to, to find out. Uh, destroy everything except the broadcast energy transmitter. <laughs> this I command. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Brian. Really appreciate it, man. Happy New Year to you too, buddy. <laughs> oh, I probably should have said that in a Destro voice. Destroy everything but the broadcast energy transmitter. Maybe not. If you say this like command, it's a Cobra Commander thing. Dex ultimate is great. I can target tons of things. I, I got to electrolyze. I can target two things and steal them both. Boop, boop. I can also use like a Searing Spear to... Uh, Steal their things. These guys have to go in at Nicobolus, right? Just to put them to one. Oh, they're going to Dak. Prevent that ultimate, huh? All right. Well, we will block one, so. I think it'd be funny if we didn't block and uh, they had Toxic Deluge and they just negative six it to kill Grave Titan. If you target their face with a spear, can you steal their face? Um, I'd have to check the comprehensive rules. I'm not sure. Uh, see, it sounds like it would work legally. Do you drink? I swear you probably become two kinds of drunk, a class act drunk, or a fa I, I actually don't drink. Uh, which always surprises people, because I look like I'd probably be a drinker, right? I look like, a, I, look like a, I can put some back. All right, so you played, what, Swamp and Eternal? How many Eternal Witnesses do you have? Swamp is gone. You get the Living Death back. Okay, sure. Oh, you're just going to cast it right now. I see. I see. Oh, we get Young Peasy back. That's cool. All right, well. Let's twist again like you did last summer. So, let's destroy your buy you I guess I'm not going to steal either one of these I just don't care about them that much actually maybe I want to steal the fauna shaman we can also take Yavimaya elder and just sacrifice it that's actually not bad they have four cards in hand that's what we're doing oh and we can just kill the fauna shaman this is great this is the world I want to live in. We sacrifice this guy, and we also get a bunch of different cards to discard to Smuggler's Copter and Dak Faden. I will use get an island and a swamp. Draw a card. Um, draw two. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's uh, Cabal Ritual... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go one, two, Cabal Ritual. Uh, definitely Spear Your Face. Um, Copter, Crew, You. 
Actually, we're going to have the time spiral first. Uh, time spiral. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can demonic tutor for something. Maybe like a high tide. Or maybe like something good. Like we can just... Can we Rakdos' return and kill them? I don't think so. <laughs> but Rakdos' return still might be the play, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What up, turn one Blood Moon? I'm just going to take Rakdos' return. Actually, we just win this turn, right? Because we have Smuggler's Copter and Wild Pyromancer. Actually, we could just win with Wandering Fumarole. <laughs> yeah, this is easy enough. <laughs> okay, that's a thing too, I guess. Are you dead? We had like multiple ways to win. We could Rakdos return. We could Frantic Search. What would Frantic Search have hit? Are you going to let me draw? Magic. Uh, Magic the Gathering. Nope. Guess not. Okay. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. All right. So. We saw a bunch of graveyard shenanigans. Should we just bring in Buried Alive and just put in, like, we can just throw Consecrated Sphinx and a bunch of nonsense? No, that's not good. I'm just going to submit like this. Like, they have to have Living Death. Otherwise, they get Living Wrecked, if you know what I mean. Kayford, what's going on, man? Haven't see, I didn't see you. I I didn't see you come in. So I think it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty evident that Nicobolus has definitely pulled his weight in this draft, right? Like we haven't. Like, there's no contesting that now, right? Like, we're just... He's just a good dude that does his job, right? Let's twist again. Like we did last summer. Can we twist again like we did last summer? I mean, the funny thing about Living Death is also that we have Time Twister and Time Spiral, which shuffles in graveyards. So... I mean, it's very possible that we, like, uh, we just shuffle in all their creatures anyway. Dom the Kid, have a good night, buddy. Have a Swifty New Year to you, too. You gotta get Swifty. Get Swifty. Yeah, get Swifty. Um, we're firing off the draw sevens pretty frequently, but I don't like a card that's blank until you do that. Like, there's just other cards, you know? I'm sure we could play it, but if we had a better card, I'd rather just play that. Yeah, like, not really needed. Yeah, not really needed is perfect. Perfect way of saying it. Lucas Fewite, you, you are just a monster. This hand seems good. So if we go... Turn three, tap this for high tide. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, that ain't going to do it. We'll keep it, though. I still think this hand is good. It's got a lot of setup cards. Oh. What the? Huh. Well, then. Get swifty. I play right at prison. Can you tell? And despite Blood Moon, Eldrazi Tron continues to be a horrendous matchup. Like, I play a moon, and then they just beat me down with spaghetti monsters while I daryl. Any idea on improving the matchup? 
None. Unfortunately, none. Um, I just haven't paid much attention to Modern in the past couple months. Um, so I just don't... I haven't actually kept up do you have all your do you have all your wrath of gods and your ensnaring bridges uh one two uh i think if they did that i think if they reprinted all the cards uh a cube cards with a different back uh, I think it would be a, an incredible seller, seller, and it's that's been that's something that's been talked about for a while, actually. Um, I think we can just pass here. Turnabout would be amazing. We can go high tide, two mana, two mana, turnabout. Uh, untap all three, two mana, two mana, two mana. Yes, one use of Kappa is sarcasm. I guess we're taking three. Oh, I guess we're taking two. Oh, I guess we're taking three. What an emotional roller coaster. Oh, a fauna shaman. Where's that sweltering suns when we need it? Oh, a Dak Faden, eh? Well, Dak just dies if we play Dak. That's unfortunate. We can high tide empty the war. No, we can't. No, we can't. They have three cards in hand. I have no desire to to high tide here. Or not to high tide, uh, to time twister here. My bad. Let's actually just, let's deck anyway. And then we just save some damage and we get to loot a couple times. Okay, those are very good. Um, let's get rid of Twister Cabal Ritual. Everything else in our hand is real good. Surreal good. So next we can go Pyromancer. Can we go one High Tide? One, two, three. One, two, three. Pyrotic Ritual. Pyromancer. I don't know what we can do. Living end or affinity? Um, it definitely that's that's that call is one hundred percent based on your comfort level. It doesn't matter how good those decks are. If you are not comfortable or proficient playing living end or affinity, you are not going to do that well. And that's not a that's not a reflection on you per se. That's just a that's a reflection of those decks. Those are very skill intensive decks. Um, we could have high tided Warrens there. Uh, no, we couldn't have. We went it because we went uh one blue for high tide, one two blue, and then we needed a red, so we only have three mana. We can't do double blue, double blue for hot for empty the warrens. Um, the, the problem being that's only storm count of two, which is not even that great. But the point is, if you uh, if you're going to play affinity or li living end, those are both decks uh, that reward the competence the competency of their of their pilot. So if you're going to play either of those decks, play the one you are more comfortable with and that you know more uh, matchups with. That is my recommendation. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter which one is stronger. One can definitely beat the other. If you pit those two against, the more proficient pilot is definitely going to win 99% of the time. Okay. 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 So then I turn on player an island from... Oh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, you guys are right. I'm thinking of... What am I thinking? I'm thinking of every other mana ability where it's like, when you tap this land for a, a blue, it produces a second blue. You're right. My bad. My bad. Um, so we can go high tide here now, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we can go ritual to make it six. So could we go high tide? One, two. One, two, three. I think, we're, I think this turn's actually going to be good. Or we can just play Consecrated Sphinx, right? One, two... No, we can't. Oh, we can with Ritual. Is it just Consecrated Sphinx here? I think it's got to be Consecrated Sphinx here, actually. 
So we have five mana. We'll just go to six. Yeah, just don't have an instant speed removal spell. Oh, we went straight to the draw step. Perfect. So the reason I chose Consecrated Sphinx over Pyro with Empty is because they have shown Living End. Or Living Death, rather. And I don't have six mana. So this is a great time to cast this. Whereas I can cast any of these. I can cast... We can recover from a Living Death with Wild Pyro... With Young Pyromancer Searing Spear. And that's still like two creatures and a three damage. Um, whereas if we play Consecrated Sphinx now, we actually get to play Consecrated Sphinx with enough mana. And we get to draw two extra cards to make sure we have enough mana to do more things next turn. So that is why Sphinx is better in my opinion. Because if they want to play Living Death, it forces them to do it now. And then we still have Empty the Warren's Young Pyromancer in hand. So... Living Death? Oh, six mana. Grave Titan, eh? Okay, that's a good dude. That's going to be hard to deal with. Um, I guess we can just chump block this guy forever if we play Young Pyromancer here. Get rid of the Fauna Shaman in case you have some shenanigans. Unless you have a way to gain life, I don't care. Draw two. Also, if they crack you have my Elder, we get to draw another two, which is just great. Okay, this is enough lands. This is way too many lands here. We have so many strong cards in our deck. block sack that elder you know you want to draw that card yes yes alright so we get three more cards before next turn and empty the warrens gives us quite a few chump blockers like a frantic search would be nice frantic search would be amazing Eh, those are two spells that let us play Empty the Warrens. So that is six Goblin Tokens. Seven, eight with the Pyromancer, so. Alright, that's not terrible. Um, So we can go Mana Vault? Tap it. Uh, Ralzark. Tap you. Untap you. Do we play land this turn? We did now. All right. Seething song. And we'll empty. Get to burn three mana, which is the entire cost of uh, entire cost of seething song. So this is a lot of blockers, which is nice. Yep. Oh, actually, probably shouldn't have just tapped Mana Vault, I guess. That would have been that was that was probably the better play, right? We did, we tapped Vault. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why did we tap Vault? Well, because we just didn't think it through. That's why we were just excited about our cards, so we didn't actually think about it. I mean, it's not like there's a strategic reason I had. I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, here's the reason we tapped Vault. 
Okay, brainstorm putting back two islands is fine, but we're just going to draw those islands. So here comes living end, because now we're just way ahead. Blah. Vomit. It's okay, so they have Mascarum. Good to know. Yep, that'll do, pig. That'll do. <sighs> okay. Well, Mascarum is a thing. Really tempted to bring in Mesmeric Fiend here. Just because if they have that, I don't want them to have that. Uh, definitely don't think we're bringing Disc in. Why would he take Empty out? No way, Empty's like a win condition. I want to bring in Mesmeric Fiend because it snatches things like Masquerum out of their hand before you go off. Also, I don't want to bring Maze in, because like if we're if we're mazing something like A, I don't want to miss a land drop. This is not a deck where I want to miss land drops. Uh and if we're mazing something like a Grave Titan, we're not getting anywhere. We're just literally making it so they get to uh make two guys every turn. Just Fiend is fine. I don't want to double up on the black cards because we don't actually have that many black spells. Oh, that's a good hand. Whoo boy. Alright, I guess we're going to five here. Go ahead, keep your seven. You're not going to mulligan. Yep, didn't think so. Oh, you actually did. Oh, all right, sure. Dale. <laughs> Best hand yet. Keep. Oh, they went to 5-2. All right, we got a game. Um, I'll put you on the top, sure. I feel like our deck mulligans very well. I guess we'll find out. Also, the problem with bringing in both Brain Maggot and uh, Mesmeric Fiend is that they do have Living Death, so uh, it just gives them two extra cards when they Living Death, which is not ideal. All right, we got some, we got some, we got some aggression here. Uh, I didn't top mana; I topped acceleration. Which is much different. Okay, they're they're not doing that great here. They're gonna pump their tree speaker. If they have a turn two grave turn through grave titan though, then we're we're not looking great. Come on, mesmeric fiend. Oh, acceleration into what? Clearly nothing. You know our hand. <laughs> I, gotta, I, <laughs> I love answers like that, man. It's so comical. Acceleration into what? I don't see it in your hand. Well, right, but I mean, you know, our deck has a bunch of well, like we need mana. Like we need mana to function. That's what our deck does. Kill this thing. <laughs> oh, all right. Just get back your old Jiraga Tree Speaker. Sure. Yeah, like, I mean, if we top deck into Twister here, it's pretty good. But, I, God, I really don't like them getting... Drawing four cards when they have... I guess they just have three mana. Right, but my view is that our deck needs mana to actually do things. Like, if our action spell is one extra Brainstorm or one Frantic Search, it doesn't do anything without the mana to actually go off. Like, we have to develop our board before we do anything else. Can make can make four guys. I don't think that's great though. I think we can wait. Yeah, I feel like we're a little behind here. 
if for no other reason than the smuggler's copter and the uh, smuggler's copters are off. If we had a DAC, we could steal it, but one, two, three. It doesn't really leave us much to do with anything else. We can get five mana right now. We can go one, two, three, four, float one, untap all our... Oh, God, it's so annoying. Make a beast, deal five. Sure. Oh, okay. That's not what I thought you'd do. I don't know why you wouldn't put board pressure on here. You can make a 3-3 three, three and attack us for down to 12. Which seems better, but you might be going for the overrun next turn. Which might just kill us as well. Yeah, it definitely kills us. What up, Thundering Bumpkin? Also, if you guys haven't done so, please feel free to follow or subscribe. Subscribing definitely helps me out a ton, and I'm a pretty regular streamer. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Who cares? Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Broke the broke the sub cherry tonight. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Um, what do you do, Ral? What do you do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ral, tell me what you do. Hmm. I do like having Turnabout to tap his guys down if they do try to ultimate Garrick. That actually seems pretty good. <laughs> Unfortunately, if they don't do that, I mean, I guess if, I guess it should, be, I can't imagine why they don't, I can't imagine they not do that. You play a guy, you crew the copter. Tonight we have we have storm. We forced storm, so. I mean, if you play another creature and then you use that to crew the smuggler's copter. The problem is by us not tapping anything, it gets a pretty big red flag that we have something. Dang it. Dang it. Tap your bird, Grave Titan. Grave Titan. It's going to be Grave Titan? Do you have Grave Titan? That's annoying. Personally, I would take out this island. I don't think Rakdos Signet matters. Double blue is okay. I guess you see things differently. Yeah, I don't. I think that was not the correct. I think people see they see an artifact and they're like, "Ooh, an artifact is different from a land. I'll kill that." Um, when in actuality, it doesn't really do anything. This is actually lethal if they try to Garrick here. Yep. That's pretty good. You gotta do what you gotta do. Begin combat. Tap your guys. So this basically uh, prevented a bunch of damage and we got to kill a Garrick with it. I'll choose creature. I will tap them all. Can we feel the love tonight? Tonight. I guess we're just gonna rally and kill something. I'll just kill your mana. That seems good. <laughs> I mean, it was a four mana fog, but it also killed a Garrick. So, I mean, it's literally destroy Garrick and prevent all the damage this turn. I mean, that's significantly better than fog.
Yep. I assume you're killing Rowl Daddy. I can't tell because magic doesn't. Oh, there we go. Okay. What a Balthazar triple quadruple nines. Yep. They also have less time than we do. That's pretty good. Huh. Well, that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we have another turn. But I feel like this is... Oh, God. What? I oh God. Is this the right play? Get to keep two mana up. All right. Let's do it. High Tide Arena. Oh, oh, Electrolyze is pretty pretty juicy here. Huh. Hmm. Kapow. Right in the kisser. Okay, so next turn we might have a game. Just gotta survive. So they play a guy, we take seven. Blah, it's not great. They only have three mana though, that's good. I guess they're gonna have four because we time twistered, but. If we can draw time spiral, I think we're in great shape, but uh, Believe it or not, that's... Wait, hold on. Hold on. High Tide, Demonic Tutor, Time Spiral. Hold on. Hold the phone. I mean, both Elder and Eternal Witness are two ones. Uh, Elder lets them search for two lands. I mean, I'd rather just kill the Eternal Witness and make them crack this if they want to spend two mana. I think that's better. Hold up. Uh, high Tide. High Tide. One, two, three, four, five, six... Untap everything. Go ham. All right. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Us and the captain. Make it happen. I don't know how we're going to win. That's my problem. We have to Cabal Ritual. Which is not going to, unfortunately, net us a million mana. There's no, there's no possible scenario where we actually get to Cabal Ritual and... Uh, Uh, have threshold. Can we? Hit, a, hit an island. No, we did not hit an island. So one, two. Right, we go one, two, three. That's only five cards in the graveyard. So one, two. Ritual. High tide. Let's go brainstorm. So we're going to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's tutor now for Time Spiral Arena. All right, so that's plenty of mana. Um, okay, doing good, doing good. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna keep the mana vault here, right? Actually, do we have enough for Ral? Let's keep those anyway. We're just gonna put these back because they're gonna get time spiraled away. Put you back. Put you back. Play a land for the turn. Play. A so this is seven. If we play this with a blue, we're going to do it anyway. Four, five, six. I think we'll have enough. Infinite mana and Rakdos' return? How do we get infinite mana? I mean, we have to find one, two, Two, three, three, four, five. Sure, we'll do this. Tap you and 
U time spiral. I'm sorry, what? No. Untap one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, do you play a land? I don't know. Six. I guess we're doing this. And searching for what? I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Eleven mana. It doesn't. That's not. Oh, turnabout. No, we don't have Rakdos' return, though, right? So, that doesn't do anything. How do we win this game? Warrens, I mean, Warrens, we just... I guess we can go Warrens, Mesmeric Fiend, and make sure they don't have it, right? Um, let's brainstorm first. Uh, put lands back. Pyromancer. Cabal Ritual. Mesmeric Fiend. Oh, let that resolve. Mesmeric Fiend. Vampiric Tutor, Animate Dead, Buried Alive. Well, we just died. Yep. Um, actually, they have to be able to cast it, right? So they can't cast it. So we take the animate dead. And then we can just go this guy. So this is their hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then whatever they drew. Did we just win this game? I mean, I have a minute and 23. They have 305. We're just going to untap real quick and attack them for infinite. One, two, three. They'll have four blockers, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. They could have five blockers, I guess. And I don't think that's going to be enough. Plus, we can bolt them for three. We're going to untap. I guess we don't care if we untap Mana Vault. I don't know what's going on anymore. Well, even if it is a reanimate, they don't have it in hand. Oh, because it'd be one mana, right? I got you. Yeah, so they can bury it alive, put it in the graveyard, but they have no way to get it back. So. All right, so swamp and play. Man, Mesmeric Fiend did some work, dude. Otherwise, they just win, right? They just play Swamp, they Buried Alive, the Mesmeric Fiend, and then they, or they, the Massacre Room, and then they kill us. Buried Alive, done. Okay. So, unless it's Exhume or Reanimate, Gristlebrand, Grave Titan, Massacre Room. Oh my god, watch it be. Seriously? <laughs> I mean, okay, well, you get another draw. I'm going to have six here. I have no responses, so. Oh, they could have tutored for Living Death. Oh, no, they wouldn't have had enough mana. They would have only had four mana. That doesn't, that wouldn't have done it. Oh, my God. Do you have Ranimate in your deck? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that was way too quick. You 100% have reanimate. Welp. They saw the line, so I guess that's it. Yep. <sighs> Must be nice. So if we took Tudor, they still could have went uh, animate dead. Maybe we should have taken Buried Alive. If we took Buried Alive, like what? Are, how do they get? How do they get Masquerum in the graveyard? I think it was Buried Alive. Um, no, they could play. No, Fauna Shaman doesn't do it. 
Yeah, I think if we took Bird alive, we win that game. That's pretty rough. Hmm. No, maybe not, because they Vampiric Tutor from, from Masquorum. They play Una, discard it, they play their land, and then they have two mana to animate it. So, yeah, all right. Yeah, I think we just, I mean... I think we just had to play it as was, as was, as is, and uh, yeah, I don't think we miss. I don't think we misplayed that game. Definitely, um, we just had to do what we had to do. But still, unfortunate. Like I think we played as best as we could there, and especially considering all the things that were going on, and the fact that we had like a minute and a half on our clock. So yeah. Yeah, they definitely had a ton of lines there. Like there was, and and like seeing the, uh, the smuggling copter or vampiric tutor play was very good. Give me an auger of bolus. That's not an auger of bolus at all. Well, next time we're gonna go Z Dac into Ral. Dac Faden and Ral are are two very. Guess we're just playing against all the vampiric. Alexa, stop. That was weird. I don't know what triggered that. Um. Oh, another blue green, another black green uh, vampiric tutor deck. Is this the same opponent? No. Okay. All right. Wall of Roots is not as scary. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's 3 a.m. here, so I'm not sure if I am going to do another one after this, but. I hate answering that because then people are like, all right, well, I guess I'll get out of here then. And then I'm like, oh, no, it's too bad. I thought we were having a good time. I like that I have all these extra lands to pitch. Um... One, two, three. We can't play... Yeah, I'm just gonna pitch lands. Seems silly, but I don't care. We got Dak and we got Dak on board, so next time we get to Ralzarek into Augur of Bolt. No, we no no we don't. <laughs> That's not how four mana works. Five mana works. Yeah, there's just these random uh Alexa activations. And I don't know what triggers it. I'm like, what did I even say? I didn't even say anything. Dak Faden? Was that it? There she was again. I don't know if you guys heard. You heard? Oh, Gideon Ally of Zendikar. That's a dude. Oh, that's a thing. Well, isn't that a thing? Isn't that a thing that we'd like to do? They have four cards in hand. I think it's I think it's Ral. Oh, demonic tutor. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what to do here. Ugh, what are we discarding here? Ralph Zarek, we play plus him. Doesn't do much this turn, but it does put us to six next turn. I'm gonna discard Nickel Bolas, unfortunately, not ideal. And Probably Augur of Bolas. I don't think I care about either of those cards. Oh, but then Gideon himself just comes and kills me. Oh, God. Gideon, why are you such a son of a biscuit? Um, Did you just get High Tide? That doesn't seem great. All right, we'll just play Ral. Whatever. I don't think it matters.
killing that guy is um, they're going to attack with a 5-5 five, five and a 2-2, two, two, which just puts one of these guys to three, but then they get to keep a guy on board. So if we do this, they still only get to kill one Planeswalker, but then they don't get to keep a, a soldier. So uh, High Tide doesn't let us go off next turn, right? Like we just go one, two, three, four, five. So we'll have six mana. We can Time Twister, but wow. All right, Planeswalkers for days over here. No, well, harmonize in a lotus bloom. That's what up, crew dog. Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to subscribe or follow. Subscribing helps me out a ton, guys. And uh, you know, I'm on I'm on pretty regularly, usually like four or five days a week. So, uh, where are you going? Oh, you're going at the deck. That's good. That lets us consecrate its sphinx. Yeah, we're just going to Consecrated Sphinx here and hope they don't have... Is this any graveyard or just theirs from your graveyard? Okay, cool. Don't have an answer during your upkeep, that's all. Oh, they do. Nope, they don't. We drew. We be drawn. Okay, see now... Now we might have some, some value for the, the high tide here. One. So now we can go high tide... One, two, three, four, untap, five, six. Ritual is seven mana. We'd net four, which is not a ton. But they also don't seem to have an answer to Consecrated Sphinx either, so. Hmm, Basalt Monolith is fine. They have two cards. I don't even think we want a Time Twister here. We'd actually draw... Uh, 14 plus the original 7, so we'd have like a million cards in hand. Destroy all non-Zombone creatures. I guess we could just kill Liliana and make a bunch of dudes with Pyromancer. I guess we're doing that. We also make a ton of mana with uh, we could also just make a ton of mana with uh, uh, mana vault, untap mana vault. So Mana Vault, untap Mana Vault. I don't think we're doing it this turn. Rally your face. Sphinx is May, yes. Um, yes, redirect to Liliana. No, don't redirect to Gideon. What are we getting here? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Is it just time spiral? No, because we have a time twister in hand. I think it is high tide. Oh, we didn't play a land this turn. That's interesting. So we can go. We can actually go mana vault, and yeah, it doesn't matter now. We'll just play this and pass. I think next turn we're going to try to go off and do some crazy stuff. Oh, Laboratory Man, I could be sick in the cube because then we can actually uh, draw infinite cards. But then we'd have to like have Consecrated Sphinx and Laboratory Maniac in play. Laboratory Maniac would have to survive and then we'd have to actually play a draw seven. And uh, make that all happen. Here comes the Oblivion Ring. Nope. Wrath of God. Marshall Coup? I don't think Marshall Coup's in the cube. We would have seen it by now. 
in general. Like I just haven't seen a Marshall Coop. Marshall Coop, if you will. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, that's terrifying. Well, now we're time twistering, that's for sure. Mother of God. Sure wish Wandering Fumor was an island, but Ral. Ral Ral. Ral. Three Rals. And face. Okay. Well. No blocks for any of these guys. That's disgusting. I will not do that. Oh god, I really don't want you to draw two, but it is what it is. It's your boy. Can we kill you this turn? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We could 12 you. Make a bunch of dudes. I feel like it's got to be Time Twister here though, right? All right, here we go. We're not going to play a land here because we can probably just get an island and play that, which is just better. Always yield. I wish it wasn't a I wish it wasn't a May, dude. They say no to all of these. Okay, that's fine. This is actually a great draw because we can kill Nicobolus now. Um That is the island we were looking for. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, pyretic ritual is a red. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Um, we can just time spiral. Kill this dude. Seething Song, that's a good draw. All these are good draws here. That time you decided to draw, okay. Four, five, so we have a million mana right now. I don't think we've reached a point where it's it was X4. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dak Faden steals nothing, apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that we're missing an island? Yep, front island. Okay, sounds good. Brainstorm is okay. Yeah, right. Okay, so yeah, you thought we had X equals excuse me the time spiral, but no, we have to actually shuffle in the uh, uh we're gonna use this time play. Let's draw some oh, god, the worst. Um let's give her a mountain and a wandering fumarole. Just keep on choosing to draw them boys.
Oh. Oh my. Now we've got a game, boys. So one, two, three. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Frantic search. Use all the blue here because that's how you do. Discard two. Untap island, island. Oh, untap three lands. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why do I think it was only two? So we're going to empty here because otherwise we, we lose it, right? So if we had time walk, oh my God, can you imagine? So we'll pop a black and a blue. Well, <laughs> this is unreal. The problem is they have Sphinx, so they can just be like, I'll keep drawing until I find an answer. So I have to assume they have an answer in their hand right now. Electrolyze does a thing. Oh, we'll add a red with this because we're going to add two blue anyway. Frantic search. Um, two. All right, keep going. Discard these two. One, two, three. And electrolyze your nickel bolus, I guess. Or electrolyze your face in case we draw um, Rakdos to return. A Searing Spear is good. I guess we'll brainstorm. <laughs> Hope we hit something good. Okay. Demonic Tutor might be the, the key, right? One, two, three. Actually, Nicol Bolas is pretty good. Can we steal their Nicol Bolas? Or we can steal our own Consecrated Sphinx, I guess. Is that a thing we want to do? Um, put the two lands back. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, so thirteen, fourteen. Hmm. Oh, uh, we can't tutor for time spiral because it's actually exiled. So that's not that's not gonna work. Do we have a way to win here? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we can just kill you with uh, Rakdos' return, I think. Nope, we can't. Dang it. <laughs> eh, I guess it's still pretty good, though, right? We make you discard your entire hand. We kill your Nicol Bolas. This should win us the game. Yeah, we could. We didn't have two red. We have one red. We can't Searing Spear and Drakdos' Return. We had one red mana. Oh, they had Wrath. Beautiful. Um, attack Nicol Bolas. Attack Nicol Bolas. All right, so they have no cards in hand. 
Also, they were at four. So if we spend two less mana on Rakdos's return. Oh, this is whatever this is of their top deck. So. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so whatever you draw just goes directly into the graveyard. Oh, they chose not to do it? Okay. I think that's good. Uh, I believe um, Gotham is in order. So they do have Wrath of God in their deck. That's cool. I think we're bringing Dreadbore, 100%. They have Dirty Planeswalkers for days. <laughs> is Dreadbore good here? Uh, no, Lion's Eye Diamond is not good in this deck. The only reason we want a Lion's Eye Diamond is uh, if we cast Time Spiral or Time Twister, and in response we crack Lion's Eye Diamond. That's literally the only time it's good. So, Otherwise, like, there's no other situation where you want to discard your hand for three mana. Like, we don't have Yawgmoth's Will, so... Wow, that turn was amazing, and it took a million years. Uh, no, it's always good when you have Yawgmoth's Will, because then you get to put Yawgmoth's Will in the stack, then crack the diamond, and do your things. You emptied your Warrens and the Warrens of the... There were no Warrens left to be emptied. They they all got emptied. I think we want to actually take this out when they have Wrath of God, though. Maybe. I think it's fine, actually. I'll actually go 41 here. 17 lands on a Man of Alt is more than reasonable for 41. I like this hand. I see it's actually a turn two Ral, and we get to untap the, uh, the Man of Alt with him. That's actually insane. Wow, that's pretty good. You are more aggressive than I, my friend. You got it. Mana Vault, untap Mana Vault. Seems good. Wow, harmonize, huh? Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Rally Zari. Uh, tap. Choose target opponent to tap this one. Untap this one. Could have also twisted this turn, I guess. That's interesting. I guess we can just do that next turn. So we'd have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine mana, so we can twist her and still keep up six. Ah, the old upkeep uh vampiric tutor. That's a good one. I'll get a dissenter's deliverance. Whatever, buddy. You do you. Did, I hope that's... Is that what you searched for? That'd be comical if that's what you searched for. If you're like, I'll just get an Oath of Nyssa. However, when you have things like this, uh, it's actually very good. But we do have Dreadbore, so... And you're still three mana away from Nicol Bolas? If we have a way to deal with Oath of, Oath of Nyssa, it's pretty insane. It shuts down so many of their things. Like, they can't cast Nahiri right now. They couldn't cast Nicol Bolas. They're surprisingly reliant on uh, Oath of Nyssa. Hmm. Okay, okay. I think we just tutor for something good. Tutor for something good.
Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Actually, we oh we played a black this turn, yeah. Otherwise, we could be like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then just cast Consecrated Sphinx because that would be disgusting. Um, I feel like it's high tide right now. One, two, three. We don't have a second black for uh, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, we just get Nicol Bolas and play Nicol Bolas next turn before they do, and we kill their Oath of Nyssa. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, because we untap our black. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to kill their Oath of Nyssa and hopefully shut down everything they try to do. Unless they can generate two mana somehow this turn. Which is possible. It's a cube. <laughs> it's a dirty, dirty cube. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god, that's so good. I guess we can kill that guy in, in with uh, Dreadbore. <gasps> oh. Does that do it? Huh. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that does it. By Jove, I think that does it. Sometimes you just get lucky, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Old Nicholas Bolas. Kill this. Oh boy, Gary! Oh, I feel like that hurts them a lot. And then we can just kill a Johnny next turn. I don't really care about a Johnny that much. I care way more about Nicol Bolas or uh, about uh, Oath of the Druids, Oath of Nissa. I'll get it right. I'll get the, I'll get the card name right. That felt dirty. Ral is on ultimate. We can flip some coins if we'd like. Which seems especially good with a time twister. And a nickel bolus. Oh my god. If we can get like three turns, we can go plus plus negative plus. Oh my god. Uh, my mic is a sure 7MB38. I don't know what it's called. I always forget. Uh, it's a SM S7B. It's a it's a pretty pretty popular pretty popular mic. I guess they're probably. Gonna, I, I can't. Even, I can't. I have to assume they're gonna lightning. They're gonna lightning helix Ral Zarek though, because that's a pretty strong ultimate. Like they don't have a second black. They don't have a red. I mean, no one of the three cards in their hand, or one of the four cards in their hand. This might actually be a more popular mic than Mike B. Mike B is a pretty popular mic, though. No joke. I can understand why they are taking this long, because... Boy, Nicol Bolas. Um... Apply your damage. Okay, I'll, I'll redirect to Nicol Bolas. Oh, it didn't matter. You were going to redirect to him. Okay. Got it. They didn't play anything? That was all they did? Oh, Snoogans. Oh, that's the greatest thief in the multiverse. Did you guys know that? Q. 
kill that. Tap a U and untap U. So one, two, three, Dak Faden. Steal your mocks. Play a land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm feeling okay about this situation. I'm not really scared of them having one black. They still don't have a second. They don't have a red either. One, two, three. And they also have six mana. So if they go second black, they still have to find a red somehow. And we can start doing that next turn. Or we can actually just play Nicol Bolas. We can ultimate Nicol Bolas next turn. Discard seven, sack seven. Yeah, you're dead if you can't deal with Oh my god, we're going to ultimate Nicol Bolas in the cube. Oh, heavy breathing. Well, Time Twister's not a free turn. It's not a, it's not Time Walk. Oh, unless you mean like, oh, you mean just Time Twister and then make them discard the seven they drew? Yeah, but they're probably dead at that point because they have no lands in play. You got it. Wall of Roots. Yeah, this is going to be sad times. I'm going to be be quite honest with you. It's not going to be looking good. Um, I guess we'll play a land here. Yeah, we're just going to we're just going to time twister and uh ultimate Nicol Bolas. My concern is they have something to do in response. Oh, they just conceded from the game. <laughs> I guess what they had to do in response is concede. All right. I was afraid they'd have like a Vencer. So if like I activated something and then or went to combat, they could Vencer it and bounce Nicol Bolas because they had double blue. But um, yeah, apparently they didn't have that. But it makes, I, I would also be like, why wouldn't you just do it during your turn? Why would you even risk me ultimate Nicol Bolas? You know, whatever. Um, but either way, that's pretty sweet. And thank you guys so much for watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. And feel free to click those like and subscribe buttons down there. Those help me out a ton. And I'll see you next time.